Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Hi, good evening. Hello, Frank. How are you? Hello. I'm very fine, teacher. Great. Okay. You? How are you, teacher? Um, I'm good. Yeah, yes, okay. Um, today was a busy day, but um I feel happy because I just finished, well, almost done with, I'm almost done with the week. So um, yeah, I teach in the afternoons from Monday to Thursday. So I feel a little relieved today because tomorrow I don't have to teach in the afternoon at least. So yeah, I feel good, good about that. And teacher, tomorrow will be the, your, your last day with us or the what? I think so. Well, we do not know about the, the organization for the next courses yet, but um, yeah, um, the most uh, of the time they change the facilitators, but yeah, uh, we'll see, we'll see. I, I don't what know What a sad yet. thing. <laughs> yes, right, but maybe we can see each other in the future in some other course or something. Uh, yep, so it uh, could okay. be. Okay. So how was your day, Frank? My day when no, I think the only important thing that I have to say that that I I have bought two new books and I'm reading them. Oh, one nice. of them is it the Arquitectura in El Salvador, and the second mm -hmm. one is called uh, the, La Madre of Maximo Gorky. Gorky, he was a writer and a politician, a Russian writer and politician, and, and very good. Mm -hmm really interesting yeah it's about the mm -hmm. uh, russian revolution okay very good and that's all teacher excellent and susanna Thanks. hi susanna good evening hi teacher good evening how's everything um i'm tired of busy day okay but was everything fine yeah, fine. Everything was good. Okay, perfect. And Dalia Margarita, good evening. Hi, good evening. How's good everything? Evening. Okay. How about you? I'm good. Thanks for asking. So, how was your day? It was uh, running here, running there. <laughs> it was busy. Yeah. Okay. As yeah, as usual. Okay, yeah. that's the important thing. Great. And Sulma, hi Sulma, how are you? Hi, me. Fine. Good. How was your day? Uh, very good. Nice. What did you do? Que hizo ahora? Watch TV, sleep, and eat al mercado. You went go to the market. The market. Mm -hmm. Market. Um, that was it. 
nice. It sounds uh, as, as a relaxing day, right? Very nice day. Yes. <laughs> okay, I'm glad you, you had a good one. And let me see, Jose Manuel. Good evening. Hello, good evening, Miss. How are you doing? I very well, thanks. Great. How was your day? Um, a busy day. You had a busy one. But say, but ready for class tonight. Uh, okay. And then I sleep. Yes, right. Just mm -hmm. two more hours, and then we go to rest. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so that's nice, Jose Manuel. Let me see, Tony. Good evening. Good evening, Miss. How are you? I'm pretty well. Okay. I am. I am sleepy and feel tired. You're tired today. Oh. And how was your day? We were checking some ma machines. 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 Okay. All right. Was it all right? Was it good? Was it good? Was your day good? Pero estuvo bien su día. Was your day good? Right. Okay. Oh no, you got a headache. Yeah, that's pretty bad. Yes. Cecilia, good evening. Good evening, Miss. How are you doing, Cecilia? Uh, very good. Thanks. Very Great. Good. Um, how was your day? Um um, a good day. Already at home after a day of work and giving instructions on, on tax to my daughter. Oh, okay. All right. That's good. I'm glad to hear that you had a good one. And Carlos Jose, good evening. <clears throat> good evening, Miss. How's everything? I'm fine. Okay, how was your day? So so, miss. So so, what happened? Very busy, but I happy to stay in my house. Okay, so today you worked at home? No, I work oh, in didn't. the office. Oh, okay, yes. you always have to go to the office. All right. Yes. But you got home early or earlier than than other days, maybe. Uh, a, fire, uh, a few minutes. <laughs> oh, a few minutes ago. Goodness. Hey. Okay. All right, that's fine. So let's start with today's class. Let me welcome you to our almost last class. So, yep, we're just missing one more after this one. <clears throat> and this is our video conference number 19. What we're going to do today is a vocabulary practice, a general review of all the topics we have been studying this week. In our specific objective is participants will be able to ask and tell people the specific location of places in directions surrounding my, my workplace. Our class objective is participants will be able to practice vocabulary. So let's see what we got. Yesterday we talked about the prepositions of place. Which ones? What prepositions do you remember? Along. Along. In front of. In front of. Among. Among. Between us, between what else? Past, past, past. Mm -hmm. behind, behind, okay, across, across, past, under, past, under, 
Okay, I think that's pretty much it, right? So let's keep on practicing them and let's remember what they mean. So what can you tell me about along? What's the meaning of along? Some... Uh, a lo largo de. A lo largo, largo de. Right? Yep, that mm -hmm. is right. So can we make some examples using along? Mm, I race with you along the highway. Race with you along the highway. Nice. Okay. You are you are along of my life. You are along my life. Okay. <laughs> we walked we walk along the mountain. We walked along the mountain, okay. Any other? Do you have any other example using along? They walk slow along the park. They walk slowly along the park. Okay. Give me one more, please. She walks along the road. Along the road. Okay, perfect. So we got some examples. We got along the highway, along my life, along the mountains, along the park, and along the road. Good. And now let's continue by reviewing our next proposition, which was in front of. What do you remember about that one? What does it mean? In frente de. In frente de. Or frente a, that's correct. So let's make some examples. In front of my house is the cat. Okay, so let's say there is a cat in front of my house. In front of the camera. In front of the camera, what's in front of the camera? Um, Can you repeat it? I mean, what did you say? I'm in front. Oh, you said I'm in front. Okay, good. I'm in front of the camera. Very good. Another example, please. The mice are in front. The mice are, in, are front. in front of their house made of cheese. Great. Do we have more examples? You sit in front of me. You sit in front of me. Very good. The supermarket there is, is, in, is, in is in front. In front of the parking of the parking <laughs> right great we got some examples you seen in front of in front of my house in front of the camera in front of their house and in front of the parking lot very well 
The next proposition was behind. Detrás de. Detrás. Yes. So let's make some examples. The shader is behind the sofa. Okay, the chair is behind the sofa. Good. Mm, the tree is behind the house. The tree is behind the house. Very nice. My mom is behind behind me. My mom is behind me. Okay. Behind the stage. Behind the stage. There are there are a lot of cables. There are a lot of a lot of cables. 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 Cables, huh? Yep. Okay. And yeah, give me one more, please. The TV is behind the library behind the library okay um but what do you mean with the library over there um de la librera oh librera would be bookshelf bookshelf like this so we got the tv is behind the bookshelf Okay, so we got some different expressions uh, using behind, behind the sofa, behind the house, behind me, and behind the stage, behind the bookshelf. Very well. Now our next proposition is next to. What was the meaning of next to? What is it? A la par de. A la par de. Good. Now let's make some examples. The office mm -hmm. is next to the hospital. The office is next to the hospital. Very well. The university is university. next to the stadium. Okay. Any other? The pencil mm, is next to the eraser. The eraser. Excellent. Any other? The car is next to the motorcycle. The car is next to the motorcycle. Okay. Another one, please. The shark is next next to the whale. The whale. Great. Okay, so we got next to the hospital, next to the stadium, next to the eraser, <laughs> next to the motorcycle, and next to the whale. Great. Very good examples. Let's continue with our other propositions. We got among. What was the meaning of among? Entre. Entre, okay. Give me some examples, please. The ball is among the balls. The box is among the balls. 
Okay, good. Any other? My son is playing among the children. Very good. Okay. The moon is among the stars. The moon is among the stars. My brother is among many people. My brother is among many people. Okay. Any other? One more sentence the, using a monk. The teacher walks among the students. He walks among the students. All right, excellent. So we got among the balls, among the children, among the stars, among many people, and among the students. Now we have our next proposition, which is between what's the meaning of between Entry. okay and what will be the difference between a monk and between uno es, eh, among is entre varios elementos y mm -hmm. between is entre dos elementos exactly now give me some examples please The paper is between the walls and table. The paper is between the wall and the table. Okay. The table. Very good. Any other example? You have to choose. With me and him. Between me and him. Okay. Any other? The car is between. The car is between. Yes. The motor, the motorcycle. Motorcycle uh, and the bus, and the bus, and the bus. Okay, excellent. We have another one. Um, the moon, the moon is between the stars and the clouds. The moon is between the star and the cloud. Let's say because remember that between is for Two, two elements only, so mm -hmm. that's good. Okay. What else? Tell me another one. My car is between two bikes. My car is between two bikes. Very well. So we got between the ball, between the wall and the table, sorry, between me and him, also between the motorcycle and the bus, between the star and the clouds, and between two bikes. Great. Next proposition is across. What was that one? Al cruzar. Okay. And can you give me some examples on how to use it? The car is across the street. 
far is across the street. Okay. I see you across the river. I'll see you across the river. Across okay. the universe. Across the universe. Across the universe. I'll, I'll find my, my way. I'll find, find my way. Okay. We have another one. My house is across the corner. Across the corner. Um, my house is... Well, it sounds, yeah, it doesn't sound right to me, actually. Um, yeah, because then we say on the corner, but yeah, cross is not used with the corner, I would say. Yeah. So let's My try house. to change it. It's a cross. Okay. Uh -huh. Let's use something else. The street. The street. Across the street. Good. Okay. One more example, please. Park is across the forest. Sorry, can you repeat it? The park is across the forest. Across the college? Is that what you said? Forest. Bosque. Oh, the forest. Thank you. <clears throat> Okay, there we go. Across the street, across the river, across the universe, across the street, and across the forest. Nice. Next preposition is past. What can you tell me about past? Al pasar. Al pasar, okay. And some examples? Was the school the institute? <laughs> As the school, there is an institute. Okay. We have another example. The supermarket huh? is the bus, uh, the park. It's past the park. Okay. Past the station, there is a store. Excellent. Another one, please. Any other example using past? No more. Okay, fine. Let's keep it like this. So we got past the school, past the park, and past the station. And we are missing just one more preposition, which is under. What can you tell me about under? Debajo de. Okay, and what are some examples? Under the rainbow. Under the rainbow. There is a treasure. There is a treasure. Treasure. Okay, very good. The dog is under the table. The dog is under the table. Great. The cat is under the box. That is under the box. Nice. Any 
anything else? He lives under a bridge. He lives under a bridge. Okay. One more, please. The pencil is under the chair. The pencil is under the chair. Okay, very well. So we got under the rainbow, under the table, under the box, under a bridge and under the chair. Nice, so that is what we had for prepositions. Now let's practice pronunciation. Repeat, under. 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 Past. Under. Past. Across. 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 Between. 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 Among. 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 Next to. Next, Next to. to. Behind. 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 In front of. In, In front, front of. of. Along. 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 There we go. Then some other prepositions we had studied before are on, in, and at. Let's see, what do you remember about on? Okay. When do we use on or what do we use it with? In closed place. In closed space, is it on or in? Yes, that one goes in. And surface, surface. Okay, we got surfaces. Some examples. On the table. What else? On the shelf. On the shelf. On the floor. On the floor. On the ground. On the ground. Good, that is for surfaces. What's another use for on? Means of transport. Means of transport. Mm -hmm. Some examples. She travels on a, on a starship. On a starship. Okay, any other? I like going to the bar on Sunday. That one is about time, preposition of time on Sunday. So let's keep on using on as a preposition of place with means of transport. We got, for example, on a bus, on a plane. Okay, what was the other thing that we use together with on? On streets and avenues. Okay, we got on for streets and avenues as well. Give me some examples, please. On Independence Avenue. Independence Avenue. Okay. The cook is on the table. On the table, that will be a surface. Okay. Let's use on with streets and avenues. Any other?
um, Columbus Street. Columbus Street. Okay, one more. You are live on 15 North Avenue. You live on 15 North Avenue. Okay, that's good. What was the other thing we use preposition on for? Um, the second floor. On the second floor. Okay. Yep. That's an, an expression we can use. On floor or on the second floor. Okay. And the other use that we're missing is communications. Communication. Communications, right? Ah, communication. Uh -huh. I mean, uh -huh. communication. Mm -hmm. Examples. Radio. On the radio, on the, radio. On the mm -hmm. phone, on the phone, on the television, on the television, and, and the internet, on the internet. All right, great. So those are the uses for on. We use on with surfaces, means of transport, streets and avenues, and communications. Next one. Next proposition is in. No. When do we use in? When we're referring to? To what? Countries and cities. Countries. Enclosed uh -huh. enclosed okay. spaces. We also use it for enclosed spaces. A neighborhood. Neighborhoods. Okay. So tell me some examples. Countries and cities. Examples. In Italy. What else? In China. Spain. China, in Spain. What else? In Mexico. In Guatemala. In Mexico and Guatemala. Okay, now let's make some examples using neighborhoods. In a Scalon neighborhood. In a Scalon neighborhood, okay. What else? Uh, um, in the Palmar neighborhood. Okay. In, say, Las Arboledas, for instance. How about enclosed spaces? In the elevator. In the elevator. What else? In the coffin. In the coffin, do you mean this one? Yeah. Okay. In the car? In a car. In a boat. In a boat. Okay, good. So those are the uses for the preposition in. 
countries and cities, neighborhoods, and enclosed spaces. And we're missing one more, which is at. What are the uses for at? A specific locations. Specific locations. For example, at the station. In the. What else? At the church. At the church. At the church. Any other? At the station, at the church. The train. At the home. At home. What was the other one? At the train. Uh, how do you spell that one? Can you spell it? S H R E. And no, perdón, no, 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 Trying. I. No, no. I, I, I. Right. N E. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. N E. Okay. Good. Any other? At the cinema. At the cinema. Okay. And we also get another use for add, which is for addresses. Well, well, and we were talking about this one with Tony yesterday. So it's kind of confusing because he tells me, well, how do I use at with addresses if you say that we have to use on with streets and avenues, right? And I explained to him that it's um, it's kind of tricky for us because the directions in Spanish, the addresses, sorry, I keep on. Okay, the addresses in Spanish are long, right? We keep on saying the street, then the, the avenue, avenida no sé qué, el barrio no sé cuál, la colonia no sé cuánto. And it's so long, right? Es una gran, eh, una gran dirección. Sin embargo, en inglés y bueno, en otros idiomas y en otros países, en otros lugares, se utilizan las direcciones más simples. Entonces, es ahí cuando utilizamos el at. Por ejemplo, eh, in the United States, you would hear something like at 753 Maple Grove or at 325, what could it be? One Street. Or you would say something like, let's say. Um, Rich. So the directions, the, I keep on saying direction, goodness, the addresses are different, right? They are simple. So with those kinds of addresses, we use at. Um, okay, so that is what we have for at. We use it for specific locations in addresses. Um, let me see. Okay, now let's talk a little bit about there is and there are in the affirmative form. Can you give me some examples on how to use that? There is and there are. Remember that we use there is with singular nouns and uncountable nouns and there are with plurals. So let's just make a couple of examples. There is a frog under your... There is a frog. There is a frog under your your bed. Under your bed. Good. Other using there is or there are. Uh, <clears throat> there is a spider in your bed. Spider on your bed. That's scary. Mm -hmm. What else? There is. Um, there are children. 
your children where? At school. At school. Very good. Let's make another one. There is a table in the chicken. In the, in, in the the kitchen. kitchen. In the kitchen. Yeah, that's like the the tongue twister. There's a chicken in the kitchen. Uh -huh. There's a chicken in the kitchen. <laughs> confused, confused. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> so let's make more examples. There is a tiger in the zoo. There's a tiger in the zoo. Let's make more using there are. There are five books in on the table. Books on the table. Excellent. Okay, and then we have um, there is for non-count nouns, for example, there is some water on the floor. Or we could say there is coffee in that cup. There we go. That's how we use there is and there are. In the affirmative form, how about the negative? What can you tell me about that form? What's the negative form of there is and there are? There isn't, there aren't. There isn't, there aren't. Okay. So let's make some examples using the negative form. There are no children. There are no children. There are no children playing hide and seek. Playing hide and seek. What else? There are five apples in the on the table. But make it negative. There are any apples in the table. There aren't any apples on the table. Okay, let's make more. There are no coffees. There are or there is coffee. There is no coffee. There is no coffee. At uh, the coffee shop. Okay, let's keep it like this. Very well. And remember, we got three different kinds of negatives. For example, we got there isn't. There is not and there is no, there aren't, there are no, and there are not. So we can use any of those. Now the questions. Can you make some questions using there is and there are? For example, is there a gas station? Over here. Is there any apples? Is there the... or are there any apples? Um, apples? Is there any apple? Okay. Is there any apples, there any apples on the fridge? In, In the, the fridge. fridge. Okay. Are there awesome. any pictures in the wall? Are there any pictures on the wall? Okay. Is there a pet in your house? Is there a pet in your house? Very good. Any other? Let's use are. Are there? Are there witches? In that castle? castle? Right, excellent. That's how we make the questions. And let me remind you about the use of some and any. 
Remember, we use some with affirmative sentences and any with negative sentences and questions. So now let's remember about the places around town. What places do you remember? We got the bank, what else? Police station. The police station. Hmm? The school. The school. Stadium. The stadium. Gym. The gym. The park. The park. Hospital. The hospital. Any other? Post office. I the post office. What was the other one? Market. What? A market. Market. The market. Uh huh. Jail. 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 The church. The church. Uh huh. Yeah. Mm, sorry, I couldn't hear that one. Couldn't catch it. We got the school, the university, the city hall, the park. What else? The mall. The museum. The, mall, the museum. The zoo. And okay, we'll be getting some more along the lesson. So we have, um, we are going to learn how to describe location using prepositions of place. So that will be, for example, when we say there is a um, shoe store in front of the church. So you're talking about a location by relating it to another place, right? To another location. We would say, for example, there are many shops along the street. What else? We could say there is a park in front, or well, let's use a different preposition, behind. There's a park behind the City Hall. We could also say there are, what, what can we say? There are houses. We have already used in front of, along, behind. So let me say. Between the buildings. Between the buildings, okay, thanks. All right, can we keep on making some more examples? There are hotels. There are hotels. Past the pool. Past the pool. Good, any other you can think of? There is a shop across the street. There is a shop across the street. Right. So that's how we describe location using prepositions of place. Now let's practice it by looking at this city. So we got different places, Mall of LA, Restaurant Barbados, we got a church, fire station and different places. Let's keep on making sentences about the locations. So we got, for example, there's a bakery suite between the city hall and the post office. What else? Can we make some more examples? For example, tell me, where is the church? Where is the church? The church is at the same center of the city. The church is at the city center. Okay. It's in front of Baker Street. The church is between the station and bus station. Very well. 
could also say the church is across the Baker Street. Any other? The department store is in front of the drugstore and behind, I can see under the department store. Let me see. Can you see now? No, not yet. Not yet. So. The church next to bus station. The church is next to the bus station. Okay, what else? Mm, the hotel next to and the fire station. The hotel is next to the fire station. Good. What else? Where is the bookstore? Mm. It's behind Baker Street, Baker Street and Post Office. The post okay. office. Good. What else? Where is Mark's coffee the shop? The miss the bookstore mm -hmm. among and the mark of the store, City Hall, Bakery Street, and Post Office. Okay, good. Now tell me about Mark's coffee shop. Where is it? It's between Mall of the of LA and the bookstore. Okay, perfect. And how about the barbershop, Handsome? Where is it? Barbershop. Barbershop in front of the park. It's in front of the park. Very good. And the, the barber shop under under on the twenty four hour supermarket. Under maybe we can say behind. Behind. So the barber shop okay. would be behind the twenty four hour supermarket. And um, because remember that under sería como debajo de, but it cannot be, they are next to each other. So, okay. Yeah. All right, good. So now that we know about this, we are going to keep on practicing by talking about different topics. Well, let me, oh, that's not the one. Let me see. This one. So today's practice is this one. We got exercise A, make a map of a city. Just similar to the one I just showed you. You decide what places you are going to, to put in your map. It could be, for example, the church, a bank. There could be a police station, a gas station. You decide what locations you want. And after you get your map, you are going to make 15 sentences about the places and the locations, right? You use there is and there are. For example, there is a church in front of the city hall. There are some shops next to the park and so on. Use there is and there are together with prepositions. Then exercise B individually. So each of you has to make 10 sentences about your workplace and the places surrounding it. So we have been talking about our workplaces in the inside, right? Now I want you to talk about the, the surrounding. Ahora vamos a hablar de, de nuestro lugar de trabajo y de los lugares que le rodean, no solamente de las oficinas y todo lo que hay dentro, sino de lo que hay alrededor. Um, so individually you make 10 sentences. Individualmente cada uno hace sus 10 oraciones y luego las comparten. And in exercise C, we got to do some speaking. That is, describe your neighborhood by saying sentences with there is and there are, and use prepositions of place, of course. So that will be the work that we're going to be developing today. Let me open the breakout rooms so you get the chance to work with your classmates. And I'll send you the practice in a couple of minutes. 
Okay, there we go. See you in a moment. Qué excelente, la visito. Gracias. Ya no llegó el archivo. Ajá. Ya llegó, va. Vaya, pues sí. Entonces, no sé si alguien lo puede compartir, si no me salgo al WhatsApp. Mm -hmm. eh, bueno, yo no puedo, no sé puede. si Dalia. Yo creo que Dalia puede, pero no sé si se podrá en esta vez. Lo voy a... Lo voy a descargar ahorita, solo dan unos cuantos minutitos, lo voy a guardar. Vaya. No, entonces voy a irme al WhatsApp y así los escucho. Ay, está bueno. no para, para no atrasarlos, porque si no. No, no hay problema. Bueno, entonces dibujamos el más para la ciudad ficticia, claro. Sí. ¿Verdad? Sí, pues sí. Hacemos una realista. Me sentaba. No. no, mucho trabajo. Aunque está más fácil así, porque por lo menos está el teatro, el parque, la alcaldía, la iglesia. Sí. Como consideren, no sé. Sí, ahí la que, como cada uno lo tiene que hacer uno, ¿verdad? Mm. Mm, no, the first exercise. El, el ejercicio B. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. That's good. El ejercicio B es para individual. Este A. Oh. Entonces, por favor, de acuerdo. Ok. Cabal, digamos como que es el de Santa Ana, que está en la casa. Uh -huh. El que parque, está todo, el parque es como que es champa, lo vamos a dibujar porque está todo. Rodeado de la, la champa del parque. La champa. Ya ni árboles hay, ¿verdad? ¿Cómo no? Los han recortado nada más. Uh -huh. Ok. Entonces sería el parque. 
Sería la iglesia, la el iglesia, teatro, el cine, la alcaldía. Y ahí, alcaldía, City Hall. Teatro, teatro. ¿Cómo es que se llama ese es ca casino? San Santanejo. Eso. Santanejo Casino. Ahora hay un campestre ahí enfrente del parque, ¿no? Sí, en la esquina, ¿Sí? precisamente en la esquina. Ok, campestre. Y enfrente de esta China Wu. China. China Wu. China Wu. China Wu Restaurant. Ok. Y de ahí está la, en la otra esquina opuesta está la de Maxi Despensa. Mhm. Uh -huh. Despensa sí. familiar. Familiar, familiar. Pero ajá, esa barca un espacio, pero el, el otro, ¿cómo se llama? ¿Dónde está la, cómo se llama, hombre? Se me pide la, ¿dónde viene el piso? Hola de Don Juan. No Pegado, pero enfrente de Catedral. Este restaurante, ¿cómo que llama? El, ah, Simerda. se llama Simerda. Simerda. Uh -huh. Simerda. Uh -huh. Simerda. Simerda. Y de ahí de enfrente de la despensa y ahí está la calle de las ventas de torta. Eso, lo ahí es que pasar. <risa> las épocas de estudiantes. <risa> Pero es uno todo seco, va todo demacrado, todo mal alimentado. Va. <risa> sí, esto que una vez que por andar pasando en unas encuestas para un proyecto uh -huh. con mis compañeros, tenemos tres, nos venimos. Desde la U, ¿Sí? desde la facultad, caminando hasta, hasta ahí, a Catedral. Sí. Ajá. ¿Qué era? Y ya de ahí que almorzamos y todo, de, de andar sacando encuestas, no fuimos caminando para Metrocentro a pasar más encuestas. No, hombre, le tocó <risa> pesadito. Man. Menos mal que habían tomado vit comido vitaminas, tortas. De las tortas. Ya cuando estábamos en metro nos pusimos a pensar que porque habíamos hecho esa bayuncada. <ríe> ¡Qué brega! Ey, enfrente de la despensa de Don Juan está una nevería, ¿verdad? Es en, en la esquinita, en la esquinita. Ahí que es la cabeza de acceso para tener un montón de tortas. Y, en, el centro Ajá, de sí, artes, y el centro de artes está en toda la esquina. Enfrente de esa nevería. Ya no hay Boston. Que Bien, no, pero no. eso es hacia el, a la otra, para abajo. Mm. Creo que está también el sin rival y luego, y luego está un, un car wash ahí en una esquina. Sí, pero es más bajo, ¿verdad? Ajá, sí. Va, hoy nos fuimos suficiente con eso, ya tenemos, ¿verdad? Bastante para trabajar o lo agregamos más elementos. Y... No, yo creo que ya. Sí, va. Uh -huh. Lo básico. Sí, muy bien. Tenemos que hacer 15. ¿Quién empieza con lo primero? Pues la... Primero, perdón. Sí, no lo se entiende. Sí, hombre. Hay... Pero faltó hacer la... Ajá. Ay, no. El museo... No un estatua hay que hacer. ¿El museo qué? El museo no queda por ahí. Sí, el museo de antropología, de veras. Ah, el de la moneda está más arribita. Sí, vamos está más arriba. Sí, no, pero yo considero que estamos bien, ¿verdad? Entonces, Zulma o Daria, ¿quién empieza con las oraciones? Vaya, sería... Uh, uh, quiero ver, Simmerdown is between Cathedral and... The supermarket. Between. Between. 
between cathedral and supermarket. ¿Cómo se dice alcaldía? City Hall. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. City Hall. Uh -huh. City Hall. H A L L. Sí. Bye. Entonces, City Hall in front the park. The city hall is in front of the park. So with those locations, we usually use that because they're only one. We say the church, the cathedral, the city hall, the park. Mm -hmm. Okay. Una tienda, un store, o, o super, super maker. Un market, ponemos. Ajá. Market. En la parte de la market, the next to the market is eh, store. 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 Uh, next to the store is Polystation. 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 Uh, a number on the street. Pongamos entre medio ahí un nombre a, a la calle, digamos. Okay. Esta vamos a ponerle. Eh, un poquito más para acá. Digamos que eh, es. No. Avenue, creo que es. Yeah. Avenue. Las avenidas son las que van horizontales y las calles verticales, ¿verdad? Yes. Avenue. Okay. Así pongámoslo, por ejemplo, José. <ríe> On example. Second. Ah, bueno. eh... La quinta, baje meses. ¿Cómo? En la quinta, donde puede decir baje meses. Me acaba. <risa> Ajá, yes. Ok. okay. Eh, aquí ponemos la octava, la séptima calle. Street. Ah, sí. Séptima calle, ¿cómo se dice? Seven, seven Street. Seven Street, ¿verdad? Ajá. Uh -huh. H. 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 Yes. Yes. En yes. yes. inglés la voy a poner. Vaya, ya sí, José, ya. Sí. ¿Quieres? Sí. Yes. Muy comencemos. Y ahí salen un par de preguntas ya. Yes. Ya, yeah, ya yeah, sale. Ok, bye. ¿Qué ponemos? There is the hospital next to cathedral. Así sería cathedral. 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 Así no me la green. ¿Cómo sería, teacher? It's cathedral. It's C A T H. C A T H E. Cathedral. Sí. The, the library next to the park. Cathedral. Okay. Sí, verdad. 
¿Cómo dijo? Este, de, de, ya habíamos la número dos sería, ¿verdad? Sí. Yo... De, de library next to depart. Next to the park. Uh -huh. The library is next to the park. Uh -huh. <laughs> uh, podríamos decir the, the park. The park. Um, the, between. The, mm -hmm. the park is between. Uh -huh. And the theat mm. theater and library. And the radio. Oh, no. Okay. The library. This, this, ah. this park. <laughs> okay. Park. And library. Um, Eso me trae malos recuerdos. En la universidad nos pusieron cómo cuando te colocan. ¿Cómo llegar hasta, por ejemplo, te ponían una flechita? ¿Cómo llegar hasta la librería? Desde este punto. Ay, tío. Cruzando aquí, después aquí, después aquí, llegaba aquí. Um, ¿Verdad, Miss? Yeah, you have to say, like, go straight, turn on the corner, ah, turn sí, to the turn right, left, turn to the left. In the uh -huh. seventh, seventh street. Yep. And go ahead. Ay, tío. Algo así. <laughs> yeah. Um, the cathedral among among the hospital police station park store. Ah. <laughs> right. Yes. Entre todos. Okay. You could also say it's in the center of the city or it's in the city center. Yes. The hospital is in front of the cathedral. The hospital is in front of the cathedral. The police station is across cathedral cathedral okay. cruzando por aquí se viene cruz, no sería cruzando la across yes sería cruzando de la cuarta avenida ¿va? No, uh -huh. de... sería across um, fourth mm -hmm. avenue fourth avenue uh -huh. es que había una puerta aquí y otra aquí en la cruza de cátedra. Sí. The, the National Palace is next to the police station. Teacher, y en inglés existe la, así como en español, que decimos esquino, esquina opuesta. Ah, no. Yes, we could say opposite. Um, for example, what can we say here? Let me see. The hospital is opposite the market. Is that como en, como, yeah, how do you say that? Like, it's similar to in front of. Sería similar uh, a decir in front of, más o menos. Pero, uh -huh. mm. ya me puso a pensar, esquina opuesta. Depende like. de la posición. Ajá. Uh -huh. Por ejemplo, uh -huh. the store is esquina opuesta de la librería. Algo así. Esquina opuesta. Yeah, let me double check. I'll tell you in a moment. Ok. Uh -huh. Esquina opuesta sería hospital oh. y police station. Son esquinas opuestas. No. Okay. The hospital and the police station. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. so maybe we can say on the on the opposite corner. Opposite corner. Mm -hmm. 
cabal así. Uh -huh. okay. Ya estarían las 15, creo ya. The hospital. Ajá. Is pass. Quiero ver. Ahí no tiene nombre, va. La calle, va. Voy a hacerlo de otra forma. Cuarta avenida. Todavía está la avenida. Ajá, ok. The hospital is past the for a venue. Mm -hmm. Como pasando la cuarta avenida, ¿verdad? Mm -hmm. Pasando la cuarta avenida. Yes. Pasar la cuarta avenida. De onda no hemos usado ninguna. Under. Voy a poner una estrellita. Under es. Under, under. Under. Es que under es, es debajo, entonces Ajá, aquí. Como que ah, no, no se te... puede, no oh, se puede utilizar. De, de... In the cathedral, under the level one. <laughs> okay. The, the first Floor, como dice la teacher, is the capilla. Así, así se dice en inglés, teacher. Está la capilla. Uh, can you repeat it? In the cathedral, under the level one is the capilla. Como abajo, abajo del primer nivel está la capilla en, en la catedral, algo así. Um, yes, so capilla would be chapel. 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 And so you could say the chapel is, or there is a chapel under the first floor in the cathedral. First floor. First floor. Ah, first. first floor. Yeah, sorry. It seems I'm having trouble with the internet. So maybe you don't hear me well. Is correct, uh, say, level one, no? Yes, I mean, it's not common in English, but you can say it. Okay. Okay. All right, so I'm leaving and, um, well, I'll see you in a moment. Okay, Miss. Okay, sigamos. Ya estoy, Miss. No me he ido. ¿Cómo usted? <laughs> okay, yeah, I'm here too. <laughs> I'm here keeping an eye on you. <laughs> How are you doing? Come on. Es que me duele mucho la cabeza. Estoy va a hacer muy cantoso. Mejor quité la la cámara. Yeah, don't worry. No se preocupe. That's fine. So, how are you doing with your practice? ¿Cómo van con la práctica? Siendo la oración. <laughs> okay. Pero yo las primeras ya las terminé, me faltan. Ah, las del primer ejercicio las hicieron ¿Sí? individualmente. Sí. ¿Sí? Ah, bueno, está bien. Pues uh -huh. sí, el, el segundo ejercicio sí era individual. El primero lo podían hacer juntos, pero si ya lo trabajaron así, that's good. Uh -huh. Bien, está bien. Individuales, sí. Ok, fine. El, el ejercicio B de las, los lugares que están alrededor del trabajo. Uh -huh. Sí, ¿verdad? Yes.
En la dos son diez, ¿verdad, Ceci? Sí, son diez. Ay, ya no hay un cuarto de otro poner. Ay. Nueve. Me falta uno. Me falta. Okay. Okay. Good. Very good. Good finishing. There is a basket, bas basketball court era. Así se, basketball se pone. Basketball court. Sí. Okay. Cancha de basketball. Sí. Okay. Yes, that's how you say it. Basketball yeah. court. Okay. Thank court you. is C O U R T. Okay. Miss. Hi. Eh, I. ¿Cómo digo muchas canchas de fútbol? There are many soccer fields. Soccer fields. Okay. Yes. Okay. Así lo quería decir yo. Miss, 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 there is, there is a green area. Zona verde. Yes, you could say that. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Several store. Miss, tell me about several. your neighborhood. There are several. My neighborhood. There isn't much in my neighborhood, so... Yeah, what can I tell you? There's a city hall in front of the church. And there's a little park next to the city hall. And there are what stores? Else? Yes, there are some stores um, in the block next to the next to the church. Mm. And what else? There is a big market. And in front of the market, there is a a supermarket, and I think that's pretty much it. I mean, it's very little and boring. <laughs> mm -hmm. So yeah, there isn't much. It's boring. It is boring, I know. 
Oh, okay. Don't have parks or uh, fields? Um, well, yes, there is a soccer field. Mm -hmm. There's one. And there are two parks. Mm, yeah, that's pretty much oh, it. Okay. Okay, very good. How about your neighborhoods? Is there much to do? My neighborhood, uh, there is a, a soccer field. Uh, there is a po two police station. Mm -hmm. uh, near I, the, there is a centro comercial, say, mall. Uh, mall? mall. Mm -hmm. A mall, okay. Uh, Unicentro Alta Vista uh, okay. and only. Only that, okay. A lot of store, uh, well, comercio in realidad. Okay. Tienen mucha, muchas tiendas. Uh -huh. A lot of store. Don, of Don Pollo, stores. Farmacia San Nicolás, Camila, La Pizza, China World, Burger King. Oh, A lot okay. <laughs> oh, nice. Uh, here where I live, there's only one Don Pollo, and there are two or three pizza places, and that's it. Oh, there's a neveria, and that's it. <laughs> so it's the neveria very... Don Pollo nunca falta. <laughs> I know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but that's the only thing we got. So, yeah. Anyways. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay, so I think it's time to get back to the main room. See you there. See you. Okay. Teacher. Dale, uh -huh. next to next your house. What is it? More time. It's a joke. <laughs> Come on, Tony. <laughs> okay. So how was the practice? Was it good? Did you get some sharing? Did you make your sentences? <laughs> yep. Do we have any questions? No questions. All right. No questions, but for now, better not. <laughs> oh, okay. All right, so now it's time to work on our manuals. I let you work in in groups today. So we're going to solve pages number 42. Here we got some examples on how to use there is and there are. And we have to complete an exercise with there is and there are in quantifiers. And in exercise six, we have to create a conversation with a partner describing the places that are around the building using the grammar. So here you have the conversation you just completed. After completing page 42, I need to go to page number 45. Here you got another exercise. The first one as a partner where he or she works and what the address is, then share. You read the information about the, the employee. Here you have it. And then you read again the employee's information and circle the alternative directions below the correct one. So you look for the map on page 40, I mean 39. It says, then the next page you have to work on is page number 46. You have to use some prepositions of place. Here you got them. And you have to complete this information. And just before I remember, I wanted to practice pronunciation of a couple of words that I heard while checking the, in the in checking your work in the breakout rooms. So please everybody repeat, Avenue. 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 Library. 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 Library.
Cathedral. 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 Okay, so let me let me spell it for you. So the word is cathedral. So remember this the H pronunciation, cathedral. 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 Okay, and then we have theater. 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 Okay, and church. 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 Very good. Okay, now let me send you back to the small groups so you continue working. And remember, you have to complete pages 42, 45, and 46. 42, 45, and 46. Okay, let me recreate the rooms. You work with different people. There we go. Sí, sí, es mentira. Ah. Tiene que llegar sí, a decirle que tiene Ajá. una pastilla. Sí, qué malo es. Solo claro. nosotros tres estamos. Y la ticha. Sí. En mí. Ah, bueno, la ticha está revisando. Bueno, entonces iniciamos. Uh -huh. Vaya. Por Teacher, does oh. me, what does ATM means, please? ATM is a cajero automático. Ah, thanks. Uh -huh. The exercise is singular. Ah, uh -huh. there is, there are. Y vamos a llenar las la, la, la cinco uh -huh. basado en eso. Uh -huh. Vale. Sí. Entonces la primera es There is Yo creo que la teacher nos dijo de que nos debemos de basar en todo eso en la página 39, ¿verdad, teacher? Yes, that's correct. Uh -huh. La 39. Oh, Ajá, sí, ahí sí. tenemos el mapa. Ahí nos tenemos que guiar. Uh -huh.
Va. Ahorita va la, ahorita va la otra. Va. Ahorita está 45. La otra creo que era 46. Mm. That's right. 42, 45 and 46. Ok. Sí. Thank you. Estoy mandando ahí una foto porque no tenían algunos teachers. Ok. Ok, Dalia, está. Complete the exercise with there is or there are and a quantifier. Mayera número uno dice marketing presentation across the street in the morning. Sería there is. There is marketing presentation. There is a marketing presentation across the street in the morning. La dos. There is, ¿verdad? There are. La primera es there is. La uno. There is a. La dos. There are some business workshops down the street. There, there are business, business workshops. There are some. Hay que poner también el, el <coughs> cuantificador. Ah, okay, sí, sí. There are some business workshops down the street. La número tres. Uh, there are no There's... recruitment service centers around my building. La cuatro. There is no a store on the corner of Roosevelt Street and Second Avenue. There's no. There's no. Mm -hmm. There is no a store. No. La cinco. There are banks behind the factory. I work. work. Mm -hmm. Y la uno. There is. There is a Aranza building around the corner. Okay. Vamos con él. Página 45. Read again the previous information and circle which of the alternative direction below is the correct one. Mm -hmm. It is located. It is located in front of the mall on First Avenue. Ah, hay que ver la página 39. A dos. It is located Ahí en la página 39 tiene que ubicar la Arrows Technology Company. Es lo que está en front de Menofis Avenue. Que está en front, dice lo que está. Dice que está 
en frente de Mall y Fifth Avenue, ¿verdad? Sí, sí está. The park, the park sí. Yes, entonces sí. la respuesta sería yes. Está, en, está en frente de Mall, está en frente de Fifth Avenue. Ok. La respuesta sería yes, it is located in front of the mall. Ahora la dos, it is located across First Avenue behind the restaurant. Across era. Restaurant. First Avenue. First Avenue se está detrás de. Está no. No. Behind behind es. Detrás. Behind the restaurant no. No First no. Avenue. Behind no. the restaurant no. No, entonces la respuesta es no. There is no. There is not located across. La tres. It is located on Roosevelt Street. Street. Roosevelt Street. Between, en frente del restaurante va. Uh -huh. Está. And, sí. In between, floor. entre. Sí. Okay. Yes, it is located on Roosevelt Street. Between the restaurant and book world. Ahora la número cuatro. It is located along Roosevelt Street. Next to the city hall and the park. Along era? Era a lo largo de. Está a la par de la City Hall. Roosevelt Street. Uh -huh. Está a la par de City Hall. Sí, a la par. Ok. La respuesta es yes, it is located along Roosevelt Street. Okay. Well, actually, there's only one possible answer there. So you had already selected it. It's number three. The other ones are not correct. Entonces mm. sería no, there is no. Mm -hmm. Okay. No, there is. And in that case, we say it is. It is not. Oh, okay. The forty six. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna miss. Are we going to go back? Almost, yeah, we got one minute. Okay. Uh, complete the conversation using a preposition from the box code page. Uh, Fort Palace is. Uh, okay. I have to read the page 39. Mm -hmm. Okay. The Sport Palace is. Sport Palace. El banco, ¿cómo está el Palacio de los Deportes? Está enfrente, a la par, behind. Under, next to, between, across, past. The bank is between. In front of the, 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 ah, the bank, verdad? Sería in front of the bank. 
Sí. Ok. In front. Ok, so we're going to get back to the main room right now. Ok, thank you. Okay, so I think the time wasn't enough to finish. If you didn't finish, please um, keep on working on those pages, complete them, and tomorrow we can check them. And remember to do homework number 19. And also let me remind you that as tomorrow is our last day, you must be almost done with all the homework, right? Remember that tomorrow you only complete homework number 20 and the final test. Okay, solamente eh, para mañana yes. solo dejen el, 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 la tarea número 20 y el examen final. Después de nuestra clase tendríamos unos minutos para completar eso y ahí cerraríamos con el trabajo de la plataforma. Así que si todavía tienen tareas pendientes anterior, anteriores a la, a la de ahora, hay que completarlas para que mañana estemos solamente con esas dos cosas. Porque tendríamos poco tiempo, ¿ok? All right, so okay, have a good day. Teacher. Bye, bye. Teacher. Yes, yes Susana. Y, y lo de la encuesta que, dije, que nos mandaron un encuesta. WhatsApp. Uh -huh. Ah, ok, ya les enviaron la información. Mañana la llenaríamos durante la clase. Ah, bueno. Well. Les indicaría okay. en qué momento. Solo les pido que tengan a la mano la información que les han enviado, por favor. Ok. Que la necesitamos. Okay. Okay, sleep well. See you tomorrow. Thank you. Bye. See you tomorrow. Bye. Good night. Good night. Thank you.